How do? Hey. Round three. Ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding, round three. Um, <laughs> before we get started, Mike Clark, other side at will. I'll take my seatbelt off. <laughs> well spotted, that man. Yeah, he was on uh, that, wasn't he? So, Lee Marvin, life story part three. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He might not like me for this. I'm going to knock him for six today. He's got his notes. He's all prepared. <laughs> um, but I have my own agenda, mate. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no, I have. have Seriously, you? yeah. Right, okay. We had a little conversation um, about bent screws. Yeah. And okay. racism. Oh, we did. Yeah. So today, yeah, I want to start talking about bent screws. Yeah, sure. And then we'll talk about racism. Sure thing, mate. Yeah. And then uh, part four will continue your life story. <laughs> Here's a thing. Here's a thing. While I've got your attention, guys, yeah. So yeah. tidying the channel up. My intention or oh, next two weeks. If you stroll up to part three of Marvin, the description is going to have links to my books and links to everything is done so you rock up to part three of marvin everything will be there part one part two 20 questions i'm tidying it all up so it's easy to... sounds good sounds good yeah sounds very good their lass is helping and also kira and marvin a lot of you like them can't think why <laughs> um i'm gonna put all their stuff on a playlist yeah, yeah? cool so sorry marv today um, I know you've got some, uh, you know, subject no, matter. I'm, I'm all right with what you're doing so, with me. I'm um, all good. Let's start talking about bent screws. Firstly, yeah. from me, I'll say a little bit, yeah. only a little bit. Yeah. So, do you know what somebody said? That yeah. I look like Doctor Evil sat here <laughs> when you're talking. <laughs> What's that about? Yeah, so bent one. screws. All right, prison officers who are corrupt. Couple of points. First one. Um, maybe one or two or even two or three groups is people who know exactly what they're doing yeah Those. yeah you know no doubt about it yeah they're after money or whatever they they know exactly yeah of course yeah. the other one or two groups are and and you can say what you like this yeah. is my take on it there yeah. are people who are naive oh yeah I'm talking about prison officers yeah, there. Yeah, of course, yeah. Vulnerable. Yeah, vulnerable, yeah. Uh, course, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of charming prisoners. Yeah, you know, course, people yeah. fall in love. That's yeah. lasses. I've yeah. never known a lad fall in love with a lad. It don't mean it doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, so th there is a line for me. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, they're all corrupt. Yeah. However, prison officers. Yeah. Prison officers, oh, prison when staff. they're talking, no, when they're talking about corrupt officers corrupt screws yeah yeah you get people who are bullies yeah who think it's all right to beat someone because they're in a job yeah yeah talking about bent screws as though the scum of the earth yeah and i'm thinking you know i know what you are yeah yeah and then these people who will support you know top lad this one yeah you know marvin the prison officer goes around kicking the shit out of people they will support that yeah and yet somebody who is corrupt they'll knock that so yeah. for me it's a strange one in it yeah I for mean, me if, if you know if you're breaking the law which yeah. whichever way and there is varying degrees yeah well you can be put under an extreme pressure can't you like you say you can be under intense pressure to be right your opening line that you said yeah and that's where we're going to start it off yeah. you said bent screw sambo yeah they cause mayhem they do absolute mayhem so well, because away you go. the reason Explain what you mean. The reason why they cause mayhem is because there's means that there's one small group of people in the prison who are getting the most parcels, the biggest, the knives, the phones, the parcels. Because because a prison officer will never get told to bring in a knife or class A drugs in, right? it's too much for them they'll get told they're getting a bit of weed it's a bit of weed this lad or a bit of money wrapped up you know what i mean and yep. it's always not do you know what i mean so like uh and then you get so you've got a little gang in the prison you've got these getting these parcels everyone wants to know where they're coming from before you talk about paul how does it come about 
I, have you have happened. you have you ever yeah been part of like a yeah. group or whatever who yeah. have managed to get someone to yeah operate for you? Yeah. What, what what would you call it? It's easy, mate. To be honest with you, all as all as we did was uh gave him compliments, um, ostracised him from his from his workmates by saying you're on our side, not their side. Sort of bringing it over, bringing them over mentally to our side, from that side. Um, making them think that they're like, the, the one of the lads, the one of the lads, you know what I mean? Bringing them on board in that way. Then you find out what hobby they've got. Uh, how, how long would this take? Could take months? It could take months, it can take weeks, yeah. So, so you can just you can give someone compliments, can't you? So for example, you could be saying to someone, You're doing well in the gym, you lad, you're looking alright, yeah? But to get to that perfect point, you just need this magic pill. And I can get that magic pill for you, lad, on the quiet, me and you. I'll get it dropped off at the gym where you work. You know, you don't need to even give me your address. You know, that's a, a little tip like that, I'll get dropped into them and then before you know it they they're agreeing. Can, yeah. can you see people are vulnerable? Would you, would you, yeah, try, you, it spot them, spot them, would you try it on with anybody? Spot them, Would you try it with anybody? Yeah, you give it a try. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, some people you know you haven't got a chance, but some would you Would you try it with me? Uh, not particularly, no, because you don't, you don't look like you'd be open to me. You can spot a vulnerable person, can't you? The Arabics, you, they used to, they uh, thousands of years ago, they devised a way of reading people's faces. So you can spot certain individuals who look vulnerable, can't you? It's just written in the face. You know, so there's a way you can spot people. Who are I I open. I probably would see people I would consider vulnerable. I work with, yeah, mostly because they were young. Yeah, and, well, it's young and they it's struggled in the job. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, and it's locality as well. So if they're local to the prison and there's a few people who know him and know his sister's mate's best mate and all that, uh, it's quite easy then. Sometimes it's even the it's even it happens like it's. They know, they know each other on the out, but like, you know, they've kept it quiet and stuff. Yeah, well, and, you know, that happens a lot as well. I, I always I said, mean, if they had, a, if I'd worked quiet. in a prison at Sheffield, biggest city without a prison, yeah, then I definitely would have known population. Yeah, of course, yeah. However, I, it, it's, you know, if there's some, there's some staff who, who have known who've had to, who've been in parcels and who've been under pressure, and then again, there's some staff who I know for a fact who have not been under pressure, do you know what I mean? I mean, when I was in Strange Ways, uh, my last sentence, I was going to like this group. I won't go into it, go to find details, but I was going to yeah. a group and there was a group of us going to this group and there was a woman who started speaking to me at the group. She was a, she was a staff, she worked for the prison. She was a prison worker. Staff, and, um, not staff. prison officer. She was staff. Yeah. She had keys, though. Like the she was civvy. She was a civvy, but they have keys, don't they? Yeah, civvies have keys, like everyone else. Do you, do you know what, man? I, I think a, a lot of people they took keys off them. Yeah, did they? Like yeah. the, the nurses used to have yeah. cell keys, oh, and they, they took, took them, them off them. Did they take them? Yeah. Yeah. Well, one, yeah. One last time I was away, this woman she was banging to me in a real big way, and um, she was just trying to do me go out of a way to do me more favours than I expected and that then then he's normal, do you know what I mean? And um I've moved prison and she started writing to me and sending me money. I'm thinking, oh this is all this is nice. So I'm in Avrick and I'm in there for about six or seven months and every few weeks she starts sending me cash. And um I got she's because she's a worker and cause like I'm opening my adoption file at the time my probation officers gave her gave me seeing her as part of my license conditions okay oh yeah but she she had different intentions her intentions wasn't to do anything for me she wanted to go down the sexual route okay so what happened was so did, had you charmed her really she i didn't she was charming me Oh, she was into me. I wasn't into her. Okay. Yeah. No, I, so, I, I so, didn't mean yeah. it that way. I yeah, meant. Yeah. No. So this was. It went the opposite way. So. But did did you play her? Not really. I was you just writing to her saying thanks for the money, and she's sending me money and saying, "All oh, right, you're very kind." And blah, 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 blah. And then, uh, so she comes up and visits me, and and I'm we're talking about my adoption file at the time, and she says, "Oh, I can do a lot for you, and um, we can work together." So. 
it turns out she's a condition on my license to see her twice a week, right? Yep. So I gets out the day I gets out to meet her, she takes me to JD Sports, she buys me a pair of night gloves, she buys me a full face mask, she buys me a coat, trackies and all that, trainers and all that, which is really, really nice of her. And then she says to me, um, can you decorate? So I was like, what? It's like, can you decorate? So I was, I'm like, not really. Which she went, right. What it is, is I need my house doing up. Yeah? And I'm thinking straight away, wow, she's crossing some lines there. This is what I'm thinking as she's saying it to me. This is, she just bought me loads of clothes in the super sports store. And then we're sat having something to eat. This is the day I get out of jail. And she said to me, like, can you decorate? So I said, well, I've tried it. You know what I mean? But I tried a little bit. And I, um, so, she says to me, do you want to come to my house? And you can see what I need doing in my house. So I say, all right then. So next minute we're on the bus going to this destination right near, right overshadowing United Stadium. So she takes me in her house and we're looking about and she says, right, I need this room stripping off. So, all right, then I'll start stripping it. And she said, I'll pay you hundred pound a day, right? So I'm thinking, wow, this is brilliant. I've just come out of jail. Bear in mind, uh, I'm smoking cocaine again, so I'm, a, so I'm an addict again straight away. And um, she's giving me money every day. Are you back on the crack? Yeah, I'm back on the crack. So she's giving me money. I'm going to buy crack. Then I'm going to her house. I'm nipping upstairs into the bathroom. I'm smoking the crack. I'm going to sound desk cracked up. Starting ripping paper off the walls. And... Uh, so it so it progresses now. So I'm doing this for a couple of days. I'm going up, and uh, she even introduces me to a school age son. He lives in the house with her. She lives on her own, and she does work as well. Not just in the prison. She does work in a hospital as well. She's telling me that she's got the power to keep people in hospitals or to release them. So she's very mental high health. Up. Yeah, hospital. she's very high up in the mental health chain. Okay? okay, very very high up, right? So. I'm not attracted to her, Sam, okay? Not one bit, right? She's just not my type. She's the she's not my type whatsoever. She's the opposite of what I would be attracted to, all right? But because I'm addicted to the cocaine, I'm going along with this, yeah, I'm having it. I'm thinking, this is sweet. I'm getting £100 a day off. All, all I'm doing is ripping paper off the, the walls. But I know what she wants, you know what I mean? Because she's drooling over me, Sam, yeah? Like, when I'm peeling the paper off and getting sweat out, taking my top off, She's like drooling. So when I've sat down having a break and pulling her joint out, she's literally said to me, let me try this with you. And she sat there, had a few drags of a joint, but she acted like she didn't know what she was doing, like she was brand new. And I knew I could tell straight away she was lying, Sam, yeah. So I thought, she's devious, so I'm onto her. She thinks she's playing me, but I'm not. She, you know what I mean? She's not playing me. So she's had a few drags of this. She goes, oh, I feel different off this, isn't it? And, and I knew what she started edging closer to me on the settee. And I thought, right, this can go two ways. I, it, if I wanted, I could be just like a prostitute and just prostitute myself out to her. Or I could just slide away from my now and just get off. And that's what I did. I went, you know what, I've got to go. Put my coat on. And I bounced when I met my girlfriend then. So when I'm going there the next time, I'm on the phone to this girl. And she's watching me and she's getting dead moody, slamming doors, like like I'm in a relationship with her, sulking at me, one word answers, and I'm thinking, wow, this is weird, so what I did at the time, I took my niece's boyfriend down with me one day, and that was a final straw, she slammed the door, she got went, in, she had front room, was her office, she went in her front room, she slammed the door, and I went like that to, me, to my niece's boyfriend away she's fuming here because I brought him with me you know what I mean to let her know that I don't want nothing like sexual with her so that was it then police are getting here for us yeah. Yeah, they're on to us guys yeah so the police are here so yeah so can I can I ask you yeah um could she could she because it was part of your terms and conditions yeah. or whatever with probation yeah could she have made it difficult for you? And she did. Could you've not could, heard the story yet? No, I know. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So you, you you have to be yeah, of course. So and that's what I mean. I'll be careful what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Yeah. yeah. So 
okay? I'm having to go and see this woman and she knows it, right? So I took my, I took him down to make it known I don't want to be on my own with her, right? Half a, half a living room stripped, yeah? yeah? It's been stripped bare and it's because it's one of those old houses, these layers and layers of paper on it, yeah? And I'll never forget it. Around the fireplace, I pulled it that much, all the fucking fireplace had come away, all the brick, plaster you know, the plaster. And, yeah, yeah. I, and I don't know what to do, so I'm panicking, yeah? So I'm thinking, shit, how am I going to fucking fix this? I went to literally, I went and bought a tub of that paste stuff. That polyfiller stuff. Yeah, you're and not just, a decorator, are you, mate? And just slapped it all in, right? Yeah. Just to cover it up, right? But I'm just thinking, because she's giving me this money every day, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all day with this. This can go on forever. But I'm trying to let her know that I don't want nothing like up that road with her. So she signed to put it to her head. She threw it on my toes because she went like that to me. I got there one day and she went, Do you want to come upstairs with me and have a look? If I need do anything, if I need the bench, if you can do that doing something about the bedroom. Now I knew then that this was it, yeah? So we've gone upstairs and she's shown me something in the corner and I'm looking at something and the next minute, she just started putting the lips onto me, but it was disgusting. And she's putting her tongue in my mouth and I thought of, straight away I didn't respond. Uh, she started, I tried it and then she's pulled away when hey, she's seen I won't respond. Easy tiger, back yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> when she's seen her, and I'm twisting it, so I'm going this back. <laughs> Sit normal then. Oh yeah. So, uh, as I've pulled away, she went, oh, this is so unprofessional of me. I shouldn't have done this. No, she knew then that she's not getting it. All right. Yeah. And bear in mind, at the same time as this is happening, I'm on the phone to my now girlfriend saying to her, this woman is trying to get into me. And like, but I'm, obviously I'm not telling her like, what, that she's getting the money. I've, she knows I'm getting money off, but obviously she don't know I'm spending that 99% of it. Crap. Yeah. So anyway, she went, this is so unprofessional of me. Oh, I shouldn't have done this and where we were. And then after that, she just won't meet me. She started going, oh, I'm too busy, uh, da, 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 right? Now my probation was getting on my case. Yeah, saying to me like, um, she's conditioning a license and stuff. Explain the license just so So people... what happened was I've got out of prison and I've got to go to probation once a week as a condition of my license. And then added onto my license was a condition to go and see this woman. What what was she supposed to be doing for you? It's, it, uh, working with me with my adoption file oh, right. and my like mental health sort of side. Right, okay. I don't think it was sort of mental health. I think she was just working with, with me adoption, but she was a qualified counsellor registered with all these, you know, those three little letters after your name. Yeah, yeah. She had tons of them. Yeah. Yeah. So she was registered in all these different fields and stuff, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. So my probation officer jumped on it and thought, yeah, she can work with him. He's working so, with so her. So if you didn't see her, yeah. you refused to see her or whatever, yeah, you yeah. could end up back in prison. Well, this is what happened. I got breached on my license. Oh, yeah, I got breached on my license. And the first thing I did is I, I, I went to the staff and I told them everything what had happened. I said, listen, I am on recall now through some woman, yeah. It was having me un like this relationship was right out of sync, shouldn't have happened, yeah. Yeah. And she told me that she did it to another guy. Now I knew this guy who she did it to. And when I got recalled, I, I met him in the jail. And he had a he was he had um he was a guy with a bad stutter. I'll never forget it, yeah. And I forgot his name, but when I seen him I went, Did you go to that person's house? And he went, yeah, she tried it on with me. She was into me. I had a relationship with her for a few months. I ended up r ripping her off for money and bouncing, ripping her off. He was a drug addict. So clearly this woman was grabbing vulnerable addicts, vulnerable people, getting them, getting them caught up in all kinds of shit and trying to jump do, on them do, do you think, sexually. Do you think, you know, she wasn't mentally well? She's, uh, if she's she a was professional person, she was a divorcee. She, she was a divorcee. Yeah, but if she, if she's got letters, you yeah, know, she had tons of them. So she, she knew she's better. Educated, she's educated. Oh, she did yeah. a good job. Uh, yeah, she knew better. I'm telling you, she was very devious. Some very very devious woman. Honest to God, very very devious. Like I say, when I took my niece's boyfriend to her house, she was fuming. Like she got the message then he's not having this. But obviously, half of, half of what house has been stripped of the living room. She's got to give me the money to continue the job. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ended up, she got me recalled. Ended up, never went going back to her house again. She got me recalled on my license. Wrote a report saying, yeah, I can work with him. How, how long where, did you where, have to do it before you got out? Uh, nine months I got out. I don't know, nine months. Nine months. I think I think uh, that last time as well, I think the, uh, 
what I'd offered is they kept me in too long by mistake and they gave me about three grand compensation as well. You know, right, I, you have to understand, guys, right, I, I do know lads who were corrupt. Yeah. Uh, Forest Bank, uh, at Forest Bank, you know, it was some of it was obvious, some not so obvious. Strange yeah. ways a bit different, because we in high security estate. Yeah. A little more difficult taking stuff in and out if people wanted to. You know, it was a more professional setup and more people around. Oh, yeah, but however, still happened. However, lasses, loads at Forest Bank, Marv, Yeah. lasses who I considered to be grounded. Yeah, well, we know about but, one of them ourselves. Yeah, yeah, like, you a know. really yeah. pretty, attractive, blonde woman who could get any man. Is he using prisoners? Right. So ex strange, try, and ex try and explain this and, and help people understand, right? We're, yeah. we're not saying it's right. Yeah. But yeah, you happens, know, a, a lot of people life, you meet in life are at work. Yeah. That's you know, it. That, when I was younger, a lot of yeah. your sort of girlfriends and that are well, when you're at work. Don't a lot of relationships start at work. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. So we know prison officers, lasses, shouldn't yeah. be. But there is a lot of charmers in there, isn't there? Yeah, of course there is, yeah. Charm, yeah. way more dangerous than money and good looks. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. You can charm, you're all good, yeah. Once you once you can get into, like, a prison officer, you know you can, you so, can charm anything. can we go to Forest Bank firstly, right? So, yeah. when you were at Forest wow. Bank, uh, Bank was crazy. you had a bit of reputation. There were a lot of lads in there. A lot of different lads. Different to strange ways, weren't they? You yeah. had Bolton lads. Yeah, you had the Older firm lads, the outskirts, lads. yeah. Fighters more than anything in there, didn't you? There was yeah, a lot definitely. of fighters, yeah. So you it, have to be it, hard yeah, in there. You yeah, have to be hard, yeah. you yeah. did. You, you have know, to be like a fighter, Bol yeah. Bolton lads, you know, yeah. rough and ready. Yeah. Wigginers and that. Yeah, the outskirts. It's did, not... you, did you get on with them lads? Yeah, I did, yeah. Got Luckily, yeah. Got and on with them all, yeah. So I, had did, a, I had a good reputation. Did you have... The lads was Any officers sort of... There, my last six months there, 100%. I got asked every day, yeah. every single day, yeah. F wing, yeah. we'd take new lads off E wing, yeah. anybody, yeah, you know, they'd say who do you want, send anybody. Well, I know of two girls who was local, local, that's why I said it before. I know of two girls who worked in the jail who was local, and he was there at the weekends, he was like partying with the lads and stuff like that, and then a video phone in other lads who was in the wing and stuff. She, Private Video prison, calling. private prison gets a bad reputation. Yeah. But for me, Marv, yeah. Forest Bank is no different to any other though. can't be local. I don't know, Forest Bank, the prison staff, they didn't have the art into it, mate. Like when we was getting well, You had no experience, through. you not think? Yeah, absolutely, there's no experience. I mean, you think of this, there's 50 lads in a, in a square, what is, you know, a 30 foot square. And the a drug, exercise yard. Yeah, and a drug parcel comes into it and you think you're gonna walk into them 30 lads and get any part of that drug parcel, it just gets teared up, it's the, separated. There was an old fella, you know, there was an old fella. Yeah, I, don't, near it. I, don't, I don't know whether you know about this, you used to call him, I'll not use his real name. We'll just call him Parcel Smithy. He was a nice fella. Yeah. He used to take the lads doing the gardens and the bins in Forest yeah, Bank. Yeah. Nice fella. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you looked at him, you'd never think he was a prison officer. Yeah. Just someone who works all their life. I, I liked him a lot, me. He was supervising an excise yard. Yeah. Yeah. He did the right thing. He he went into the yard of Parcel Comor. He got destroyed. Yeah. No, I think it not. finished him in job. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He, you're going to get ripped apart for it, mate. There's no way. Like, when a parcel comes over, someone's designated to grab it. Yeah. Two or three are designated to grab it. If they don't grab it, they're getting it. So they've got to get it. They've been paid to do it. They're the ones who were designated to get it. They're under every circumstance, no matter what, they've got to get it. Do you, do you think the, the big <laughs> difference, the big about, difference you know, between yeah. sort of Forest Bank and Strange Ways, new prisons are experience, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's definitely. I mean, Strange Ways was a prison officer's prison, wasn't it? The, all the main prison officers was there. They sort of controlled it. Well, it had a regime, didn't it? So yeah, you knew it, where you were. You knew where you stood, Whereas yeah. Forest Bank... Yeah, and it had a reputation. The block had a reputation in strange ways, didn't it? Like, the boys down the block was known to be hard as, like... It, it did. I mean, I've done a bit of time down strange ways block, and it's like uh, it's like no other block you've been to. I mean, you've got to walk around it. If you come out of your cell well, you in strange like ways that. block, and you're right next to the server, and the server is to your left, but that yellow line is at the floor. You've got to walk to your right and walk all the way around that yellow line. It's to like get, control, isn't it? Yeah, to get one foot. <laughs> Instead of just doing what a foot left, you've got to walk around the yellow line, aren't you? 
So back to Forest Bank, yeah. So yeah. We've, we've already said, um, you know, it's Greater Manchester. You got Wigan lads, yeah. Oldham lads, yeah, Bolton lads. So like you say, you had, yeah, and so yeah, you'd still get your Salford lads and that, yeah. But it, it was a different sort of lads, like yeah. you said. For me, you Bolton. know, when I used to go out in Bolton and that, and you yeah. bump into lads, yeah. rough and ready yeah, fighters. Yeah. Well, I used to go to Bolton. I used to go to Bolton, and. Uh, Wigan when I was under 14. I used to go to an under 14s dance club down there, so I got to know a lot of people down did, there. Did you ever go to very, Tilsley? Very young age. No, we used to go to the the Ritz Ritz yeah. Ritz in Wigan and yeah. the Thingy Bolton and stuff. They're fighting sounds, aren't they? If Proper you wanted fight. to fight, you'd oh, get yeah, of course, a yeah. fist fight. Of course, yeah. Yeah, that's so, how I got a lot of my uh, links from early, from young, that is I, by going to them local clubs when I was a kid. So if you talk about, but I, I got on with lads at, yeah. at really well at Forest Bank. You know, yeah. I enjoyed the job and that. Yeah. You know, you, you get people. So if you're friendly like me, people have come up and and usual chat was, you seem friendly, boss. I'd be like, go away. Yeah. Because you knew what they were going to say. Yeah, Do you know course, what I mean? Yeah. Course, However, yeah, there were plenty of inexperience in that, weren't they? Yeah. I know one lad um, who shall remain nameless. Felt sorry for him, me. He, he just he left the job yeah no phone call no contact no sickness yeah so 2728 on strange ways one of the lads there i'll call him smithy he come from dispersals for accumulated visits so he's come from a long-term prison yeah. back to manchester his family's in manchester accumulated visits guys you know if you live a long way from manchester it's difficult your family you can save your visits yeah so he come back onto k-wing i knew him from forest bank and knew him well he says, remember Smithy, Mr. S? I went, yeah. What happened to him? He says, we were at him six months, uh, you know, played him. One day yeah. he comes in, chucks a phone on bed, yeah. and we got him. Yeah. He says, and then he were bringing us Jack Daniels at weekend, you know, two yeah, weeks yeah. of coat with Jack Daniels <laughs> yeah, in it. I've seen it all. Bringing us phones, bringing us all sorts. Yeah, I've seen him. I said, and what happened stuff, to him? You know, he I've says, seen he, McDonald's. He yeah, he says, I just left. Yeah. He, he says, he just left, Mr. S. We had nothing, he'd left, he'd yeah, gone, he'd go done. Grid, don't they? And just... that is the only way out of it. Because you're having a nervous breakdown, probably, Sam. You wouldn't imagine but, the pressure. You know, when I look at that lad now, so that lad now will be, let me think, probably mid-30s to 40. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. He's married, couple yeah. of kids, normal yeah. life. Yeah. He was fucking 19, Marv. I know. On a landing with me at Forest Bank. Yeah. You know, he had his, his wow. little spiky haircut. Yeah. He looked about 16, <laughs> trying to manage people like you. Yeah. It's no wonder, is it? No wonder, mate. No wonder at all, my God. Wow. And there were others. Yeah. You know, um, there were one or two people there who knew exactly what they were doing. Mm. And then these people, lads like yourself, later have told me, Remember so and so, Mr. S from the bank, yeah, yeah. bang at it, and yeah. I'm thinking, Shots, you know really? It. Shots, you it know does, it. yeah. Yeah, it I know, does, yeah. I mean, I've even, I mean, I was in a prison down in the Midlands one once, and they had the bench crew, and we, no one knew who it was, and then when I found out, I was like, I don't know, way was he expecting it to be him, like, you know, like, it was, it was known it was a screw, no one knew who it was, and like, obviously, like, when there's a bet, when a gang has got a bench screw in the jail, everyone wants to know where the bench screw is, don't they? Right, so everyone is watching them all, all the time. The the fringes of that gang are getting banged out because people are wanting to find out who they are, who's, who's where the well, parcels are coming. You know, from. a lad we've talked about before. We both. But in the same with. breath, that's where I used to earn my crust in jail with things like that happening. Like a lad's got a bent screw, he's getting parcels. He can get whatever he wants in the prison, and he's stuck. He's like got a little gang. They ain't got no, no pull. The only pull they've got is a drug parcel pull. So the, they'll come to someone like me or me and somebody else or me and my associates to and say, look. distribute. Yeah, say, look, we want to make this certain amount of money and we need to get this put back out there, you know, because obviously you've got to pay for the, pay the did, staff, did, aren't did you? you? Did you let him have his gig? Yeah, you let and him you run with part. it. Yeah, yeah, you let him run with it and you just do, do his dirty work for him, whatever he needs doing. So you know, if, if someone come on top with him, would you yeah. sort that from? Yeah, of course, yeah. No one would get near him, yeah. It's already boxed off through, like, loads of avenues. So, like, uh, phone calls are done on the out, you know, to stop people getting touched and whatnot now. But back then it was more like people was just, like, 
help. I've got a parcel. I need I need it managing, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got I owe eight hundred quid on the out and like, all right then. And they know it's come to. Yeah. 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 Was it that obvious, Marv? Yeah, of course it was, yeah. But even it was obvious for the staff as well. The staff knew I was bang at it. Well of course so, they did. If I'm right. collecting thirty canteens and on canteen day and I've got thirty canteens on my bed, they know what I'm doing, don't Right, so. listen, listen, I'll tell you how it is for me because people won't understand this. Um for me, when I was at Forest Bank, I spent, you know, when I was on B2, spent a full day, I thought, right, I'm, I'm going to see what's going off on this wing now. Yeah. So, it was like when them car crashed, everything slow motion. So, I took a step back yeah. and I just watched. Yeah. And by the end of the day, there was a couple of lads on the wing who were the main guys. Yeah. You could tell. You could tell. could tell the people going to them. And yeah. when you call... When you call bang up, yeah. you know, 10 minutes to go, it was crazy. Yeah, You'd see running. people just going to the cells. Yeah, because... But you know what? As one, running out, isn't As it? one person, yeah. I, I couldn't do anything. Yeah, of course you can't, no. Yeah? You can't, no. It's, well, like I was saying about um, drugs being controlled in some sort of way, at the moment, like, you know, in two... Yeah, but people, what, what people won't <laughs> understand, Marv, right? Let yeah. me tell you. So this lad, he's a Salford lad, you'll know him. Yeah. I, I ended up at his door... So he's got a bag of brown. Yeah. I'm presuming it's brown, I don't know to yeah. this day. Yeah. In his hand. So I'm yeah. stood here, he's looking at me, and there's some lads around. Yeah. So we've had a conversation. I've said, What's that? Yeah. So he said, Look, you know, I can't give you this, Mr. S. Yeah. And he what he said was, What I'll do, because you know, you know, I'm not gonna hurt you, Mr. S. However, yeah. these other lads. Yeah. I'm gonna go behind my door. Yeah. Yeah. And you can lock me in and you can do your security reports. Yeah. And you know, people can come and spin the pad or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I have no problem with that, but yeah. I'm not giving it over. Yeah. So and again, so I'm weighing it up me and yeah. some of these other lads were naughty. There so he's being lads. respectful really, isn't he? He's he was. To say, Look, I don't he, yeah, he was. But, yeah, but people it, maybe know, won't understand. I, yeah. I've got to make a decision now. I'm on yeah, my own. Of course, There's yeah, no one well. remember of staff. I ain't yeah. got a radio. So tomorrow's another day you've got to so think for that one, aren't you? He went behind his door. Yeah. As I turn round, these other lads, they're off to other cells, just like that. Yeah, of course, yeah. Because there's not yeah, only what... The heat's got. So yeah. after that day, I decided, right, Sambo, if, you know, obviously drugs, Marv, there's a lot yeah. of bullying involved, in. Yeah, of course, yeah. So me, what I decided was, you know, try and keep on top of the bullying. As a prison officer from that day, I had to yeah. understand... That whatever I it's do, not, you know what though, Sam? There's not, not as going much off. bullying as you would. No, I know there isn't. I know there isn't. He actually in, isn't. In, I'll tell you he why. Used to get not. dealt with. I'll tell you why he's not bullying because people don't like seeing a vulnerable person no, being bullied. No, I've got to say that about Forest Bank, right? What yeah. I saw there. Yeah. Um, we controlled the bullies, mate. Yeah. It, it what? Happen. What? Whatever happens, Marv. Yeah. People are going to be up to stuff. Yeah. And if you're on the wing and you end up down the block for some reason. Yeah. And you're the main man on the wing, you're yeah. sort of... Somebody else is going to take your place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I remember that situation once. There was a guy who was in strange ways, and a guy's come on the wing and he's uh, he's, lo he's lost it. You know, he's not right in the head. Yeah. You know, when he is actually physically bullying people and, like, going in and he's seeing your food on the side and he's taking it and just going behind his door with it. And we all had to make a decision, like, what we was going to do with him. And we had to just smash was him it, Was he not well? He was just a bully. He was right. a bully, but he was a bully on the out, and he he gone a bit far on the out, and he ended up getting lost. Was he? Was he well known? Was yeah, he a he was big well, lad? He was a well known. Did, did he yeah, have a presence? He was, he was like six foot five. That's why it was a problem. So he was a problem. He had to get dealt with. He ended up getting it. We had to just smash him up. He got smashed up in the end. What, just what I will off. say, because when you when there's someone who causes that sort of rupture on the wing, it causes attraction, security are on that wing. Yeah, and, and obviously. Wanting to know what's going on. That's what I said. The I used to... getting spun more and all that. If all the lads I mean? are out on the wing, if I'm on K-wing, 200 prisoners, yeah. and I'm walking about, yeah. you can see people when they're getting bullied. Yeah. You, you, you can see if there's a bully, yeah. when they walk past, you can see people are scared. Yeah. So, for me... But, you know, a lot of it is um, just uh, people who say they're getting bullied just to get off the wing because they're in debt, do you know yeah, what I mean? So, my name was getting used all the time. So, Mr. Burt, Mr. Burt had me one day... Come well, to even me over, if you weren't involved, people would use your name, well, this they? is what I'm saying. Because they yeah. know... You, you know, you know you, you're... Yeah, yeah. So my name was being used all the time for people to get off the wing. So people was going on the buzz and going, I need to get off the wing, Marv's going to do me in. And it is like, oh, is it one of them, is it? The staff would be like, you turn it and he wouldn't do you in. If you tried, you're not worth it. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. They'd know I'm, I'm going to do some running over at Tenor Canteen. Do you know what I'm saying, Samson? They'd know my name was being used, you know what I mean? Can, and like, like I say, Mr. Burt, he, he got me one day, got me in his office, like he had a little job, and he went, sit down. So I went to sit down there, this side of the desk, and he went, no, 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 sit on my, sit in my seat. So I sat down on his desk and started swiveling in his chair, and he went, don't take the piss, fucking get up. He went, I'm hearing your mouth too much on my fucking wing. Every two minutes, your name is coming up. For everything. Why is your name all over my wing? Do you run my wing? And I said, no, Mr. Burt, you run your wing. Do you know, respectful, da, 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 da. Do you know what You've I mean? seen as a cheeky chappy, weren't you? Yeah, of course. I, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Um, right, I want to ask you about... Yeah. Um, code of conduct amongst prisoners. I'll tell you what I mean. Right, so at Forest Bank, more so than at Strange Ways, because yeah. obviously there weren't many staff. Yeah. So wing cleaners... At Forest Bank were like an extension of my arm. Yeah. You pick hard lads. Uh, yeah. I've 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 I'm thinking of one now. If he watches this, I won't use his second name and embarrass him. <laughs> but he did message me a while ago. Ben. Yeah. So big lad, Andy lad. Tall, tall, tall. Yeah, ben. yeah, yeah. 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 You ben. know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. Um. So that them lads no, no. did sort of keep the wing. I, I wrote loads of rap songs for him. He still got him. Oh yeah. He, I seen him. I was. I seen him about. I seen him about a year ago, and um, he stopped me and went, "I've still got all him." Yeah, he, you he, wrote for me he in jail. Someone, he's, he saved me getting a good kick in him. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, so you'd let him run the wing. So I remember we had a guy who was an homeless guy, and it's not being disrespectful to this guy. He got nothing, and he stank. So. Yeah. Cleaner said, Mr. S, right, we sorted him some clothes, which they did. Yeah. They sorted him some clothes and he's refusing to have a shower. Yeah. So if you want to go in the office five minutes, Mr. S, yeah. you know, we'll just deal with that. Now, Throw him in the shower. They, they didn't, they didn't hurt this lad. No. They basically took him to the showers. Yeah, put him respectful, in. Respectful, put him in, gave him shower gels, gave him yeah. toiletries and yeah. said, you need to have a shower. Yeah. You know, people live on the wing and yeah. they cleaned his cell. Yeah. 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 That, that for me was part of that sort of. I won't let that happen, me. I wouldn't have let that happen. What? I would have stopped that, me. I would have said, nah, leave him. Clearly, his mental health's not no, right. I wouldn't but have forced listen, him to get in that shower. They, they didn't hurt him. Yeah. They weren't stood in the shower. Yeah, I know him. what you're saying. Yeah, I still wouldn't have let that happen, though. No. I wouldn't have let that happen. Another one. So I understand why it was done, because the wind was stinking and yeah. all that lot. Yeah, I would have and, told him to me. I would have got him There's other lads wing. getting on his case. Yeah, I would have got him moved off wings. I understand it, yeah. yeah. I've been in that situation. I was away with the lad who you... So let me tell you another. So, again... On, on that wing, uh, prison trays, are they a weapon or what? Them metal trays and leaf. Well, well Forest Bank, they were plastic. I tell you what, if I they crusted even, you, yeah. Marv, yeah, they, the they'd take your head straight off. Oh, yeah, off. they do, yeah, they are. So the prison trays, on B2, when they were on B2, the lads, and they used to do this, we had tables and chairs, so, you know, when I went up, Mr. S, do you mind if you put tables? So a civilised meal. Yeah. They put tables and chairs out. Yeah. Some lads preferred to eat in the cell. You yeah. know, there was some that were quiet. Yeah. A lot of the lads had eat yeah, what on the landing. The TVs, don't yeah. We? And they used to have two bowls, one with clean water, one with soapy water. Mm. So when you're done, mm. you put your tray in. Mm -mm. Yeah, so uh after tea, I'm walking on on this landing walk past. Now this lad were apparently he was short, but he was mouthy. Um thought he was ten men. Mm. Power lifter, he was a big mm. lad. He's got an eye out here. Yeah. So I sort of looked at the cleaners like, mm. refused to wash his tray, boss. Mm. So this lad has just chucked his tray down. One of the cleaners has said, you need to clean the tray mm. because, I, as you know, mm. everyone, if he if he gets away with it. Yeah, etiquette, innit? Prison etiquette. What yeah, do you think to that? Right. Now, there's nothing I could do. He'd already yeah, got already crack. Been done, it's already been done. What do you yeah, think to I that? I think it's a bit of control myself. Yeah, it sounds like a bit of control. Of course but, it yeah. is. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's just people like wanting to have their own little way. You tend to tend to be um, setting your own ways if you're doing sort of stuff like that. But yeah, that that stuff happens. Yeah, but that's sort of just the way it goes. You know, people want to control somebody else. Like you, you're trying to tell him what to do, even though you haven't got a clue what you what you're to do in the first place. Do you know. What I mean? Well, as as an officer at Forest Bank, very much you were on your own. Yeah, of course. And so, that's, so you're you know, trying to get a bit of control. Do you know but, what? Yeah. I just I just thought of something else I'm going to ask you. And yeah. I know it's very hard to answer this, so I, I'm telling you, 
there's eight at that time they were 86 on the wing i think they increased it a bit after that so he's 86 most of the time i was at forest bank yeah i'm on my own on the wing so yeah. meal times if someone was going to get filled in yeah or getting bullied that's when it happened because yeah. people are eating you're distracted yeah of course if you're yeah. one man you know if, if the lad all last time yeah. working with a new yeah. job you're just the keys though you're just the keys mate yeah yeah you, you, could you, know, you, say you, could you in a different life, have done that job as a prison officer? No, I don't think so, mate. I don't think I could have done it, no. It's been difficult. I don't think I could put up with it, to be honest, with you being called the names and uh, putting, uh, putting, uh, putting up with that. I don't think I could do it myself. It's a very difficult job. I do you think people realise... All, all I see now on social media, I never see anything good about good officers, and I work with yeah. loads. Yeah. It's all bad stuff. Yeah. It's like... We well, use get all the target, you, you know, it's your fault, like, you, most of them are in prison, you get blamed, don't you? You're the, you're, you're the person who... Well, do, do you know what? Someone sent that. me a, a message. You direct it all at you, innit? it? Well, so, someone sent me a message, yeah, yeah. and they said... Um, th this is their, their list of the worst scumbags in the world yeah yeah they got paedophiles rapists yeah coppers and then prison officers at the bottom as the yeah. worst that's a bit weird that's the worst yeah that's fucking off his cake but but people off his head, do you mate. you you realize don't you taking a job. step back now you're a bit I of a really, lad. i go back to when i was a kid mate. It was, you know i used to play cops and robbers mate the cops I'd catch the robbers. Yep. The robbers would do all the naughty stuff and the cops would chase them. That's the way it is, mate. You know, if you can't get with that, you can't live in a normal fucking society, can you? You're not living like a normal human being in a civilised manner if you can't adhere to rules and regulations and laws. I mean, I didn't see it for years. I just thought, I do what I want. And then you think to yourself, you can't live like this. You're not living like a normal person. People, like, if you're... If you're anti-police, do you mean, does that mean you... All right, then I'll take, give you a little thing, like, where does the line cross between someone informing? Does a woman a victim of rape, is she an informer? Is someone who gets their house burgled, are they an informer? Someone who gets a car broken into, are they an informer? Someone who gets a handbag snatched, are they an informer? Uh, it just goes a bit wonky then, doesn't it? Like, it's sort of outlaws and stuff then, isn't it? Of course it does. It's the same with drugs. I mean, in a in in 100 years, this time will be looked at as outlaw when the time when drugs was just, like, not regulated, the time when crime could be rife because of that reason, because he's drug addicts. Do you know how much crime is through drug addicts, through drugs and through drug Oh, yeah, addiction? of course I do. It's the most, yeah, if, like... I was, if I didn't commit, if I wasn't on drugs, if I didn't get addicted to cocaine when I did. Why do you always call it coke instead of crack? Because it is cocaine, it's crack cocaine. I know, I know it is. I, you me, know why I had to call it cocaine? To make people see that it is cocaine, it's not. Oh, it's right. Not like, you're, not, you're not doing it in your defence saying I was coke. Because oh. crack sounds way worse, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'll tell you what it is, mate. I'll tell you it's crack cocaine, it's cocaine what is just put in um, a, a, a solution and it's hardened and purified. So it's still cocaine. Right, so Don't be under no illusion. It's still... I yeah. see what you're saying now. I, I yeah. was thinking the other way. No, nah, mate. Yeah. Right, so back to prison. Bent screws. Yeah. Um, Very dangerous. Cause pure shite. Yeah. Can, can you but see you now? Know, now yeah. I think it's gone back to more, more prison stuff are organised drugs in prison now, especially this lockdown. Well, our that's drugs only because of lockdown. Yeah, so our, this is the only way can drugs can come in at Well, lots of the, the corruption will be going through. Yeah, no one's talking saying, about no, it. It's just getting worse. It'll be no, crazy Nobody's now. talking about it. Nobody wants to talk yeah. about no, it. Why do why does prison officers don't want airports or security in the prison stuff? You've why? heard my stance. Me, every, everybody, everybody would go through that. Yeah, civvies, it it just should be a civvies, standard. staff, anyone who works in prison. Yeah. Uh, well, otherwise, prisoners. anything can get in the prison, yeah, can't it? You know, they're going about human rights and that. If you want to stamp out drugs, yeah, yeah. there's other ways, yeah, we know there's other ways to come in course, prison, yeah. but all staff, let me tell you now, when my early days at Strange Ways, yeah. yeah, the staff search every morning is different in high security prison, yeah. like Strange Ways, yeah. to Forest Bank. 
Forest Bank, three years, I got searched four times. Wow. Strange ways every morning. You go through a metal detector, you get wandered down, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know that, because so only the most committed prison officer can get the parcel in there. Then. Well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. The number one governor was the same. The number one yeah. governor would go through, as I'm going through search here, because yeah. he had two portals, would yeah. go through there. Yeah. And rightly so. Yeah, you know, well, he's management by example. Yeah, course, if my yeah. staff are getting searched and taking the shoes off and the belts off, so am yeah. I. Yeah, yeah. Later on, we would have governors who would refuse staff search because they were the governor. Yeah, well, well that's just being silly, then. Well, that's just, that's just daft, isn't it? That's but for just, me, that's just giving other people grounds to refuse, then, isn't it? Well, no reason to, you know, it just all falls apart. Then, don't it? if the number one refuses, you know, where does you know, it? we had some weak governors after that. But yeah. let, let's not lose track. So, the bent screws. Uh, yeah. What do you think, or you will know? prison officers who have been up to no good, as yeah. in not necessarily bringing things in, but sort of sexual favours or whatever. Yeah. Do they just fall in love with people? Yeah, they do, yeah. Of course it is. Like they would anywhere else in like life. Like they would anywhere else. I mean, that woman who I was telling you about, she was literally, she fell for me, like in a big way. And I could tell she was giving me money, knowing I was going upstairs into a toilet smoking crap for half an hour, knowing I'm coming downstairs smoking cannabis to come down, Knowing I'm stripping her walls off, I'm gonna get hot and sweaty and take my top off, and then she'd be just be getting off on it. Do you know what I mean? And it'd get to a crescendo where she'd be dying to jump on me, and I'd just get out. I'd get out the house knowing that like the, the heat's there, and I need to get out before like. <laughs> you the, the, know what I mean? There's, there's a lot of that in there, and yeah. people. But she knew she was clever. She knew when to cut me off. She knew when it was time to cut it right off. Yeah. She knew when to, you know what I mean? She knew the right time to switch on me, you know what I mean? I, I saw, she wrote the right you know, when I was at Forest Bank, yeah. a couple of things stand out. One that was, I, I did really feel sorry for this lass and uh, and embarrassed for her. She's one I'm talking about now, Marv. Um, she was quite level-headed. Yeah. You know, like you say, you can see maybe some weakness. Yeah. She was what I considered a strong member of staff. Yeah. So the security governor at the time said, have you got a minute? Can you come down here? I need to have a word with someone. I need someone in. So yeah. I went down. Um, I, I didn't know who they were having in. So I she said, just sit here. So this last come in. Yeah, so straight away, she looks embarrassed. So bang to rights, as it were, almost. So the manager says to her, have you got anything to tell us? No. So she's been on nights. When I were on nights at Forest Bank, Marv, might be different now. But I'd turn all the wing lights off. Mm. One, because you just get people wanting you past Rizzlers and all sorts all night. It yeah. was constant grief. Yeah. So me, I'd tiptoe down the middle of the wing yeah. all night. Soft shoes on tiptoe around. So you. what I'm telling you is that's what I used to do. Yeah. So this lass is on night. Yeah. The lights are on. <laughs> She's brought, in, brought attention yeah, to mi herself. Middle at night, she has yeah. gone to a cell. Yeah. You know them... Uh, Elephants feet things. Oh yeah. You used to have them on the wing, so yeah. you could reach out, it's cleaners. Yeah, 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 yeah. She got one of them, she's gone, opened the flap on the door, opened the blouse. So on on video, yeah. you can see her, she's wow. yeah. Open the blouse or whatever. Yeah. So that's the lads bantering with her through the door, like in it, like, go on, miss, get your tits out for the lads and yeah, like you so, know. So it's a particular lad, he was well known, he was quite a yeah. big yeah. The thing is, Marv, uh, so she denied it, showed the video, which was super embarrassing. Obviously, yeah. she broke down yeah. and she's done. Wow. She's done. The thing is... She's a prime candidate, had, though, for the parcels, I mean, she, yeah, but if, if anyone... Yeah, but if the lights had been out... You'd have never seen it, yeah. No. And the next minute, she's bringing parcels in, isn't she? Because that's the next level, isn't it? Uh, you, you're showing your tits next minute. You're going to, like, if the lads say to you, miss... You know what I mean? There's five ton there, bring us this little bit of weed in our summer. It's only a bit of weed, miss. You know what I mean? There's no reason why I should so, say no. How, how do you get around that? You know, are you? Unless. You, know, you get asked direct, don't unless you? Unless the, the entry to prisons is. Oh, yeah, it's just got to be airport star security, pure. They don't very, want it, do much. they? They're not interested. There's no. prisons now that have got it, and, and people say, why should we have to do that? Yeah. There's an issue with corruption. If yeah. you're going to. 
if you're going to take it on, it's everybody. Everybody yeah. has to go through oh, it. Oh, yeah, of course. Everyone's got to be treated the same. Like you said, that prison oh, governor who was refusing to take that search, that means the whole lot of it below him is just going to fall to pieces. Well, he? he got no respect from the staff anyway with that. Yeah. He's, just, he's the only governor who's ever taken a mobile phone into prison. Wow. The other one would leave his in the gate. Yeah. He's obviously number one governor. Yeah, he understands it, yeah. Yeah, just, just everything about him. Yeah. Yeah, and he sounds like he's a one-off mate, doesn't he, yeah. So, do you think it should be an age limit for prison officers? Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a do good you, Do you think 18, point. 19, 20? God, dealing with hardened criminals? Nah, mate, no way. You're just, your heads will be frazzled, mate. You can pull and pull and pull some can't you? That wow. age. Uh, you find out what hobby he likes, you know what I mean? If he's into bikes, you know, you you just drop off the best bike, you know what I mean? The top of the range, quad or something at his yep. garden and say, lad, yeah, look at this, you know, chill with us. Next minute he thinks he's... he's so when you're at Strangeways, were they people you know were bang at it, officers? Yeah. yeah. See, when yeah. I was at Strangeways... Not often, no. not often. Not uh, as much. Like, that's, yeah. that's because but, entry, exit, and they've yeah. got experience, oh, haven't boy, they? It happened, yeah. You know... Again, yeah. I go back to Forest Bank. I'm on my own on the wing yeah. most of the time. Yeah. You know, you've got a lot of opportunity, or yeah. you're on your own. You know, I'd be talking with lads and that bit of chit chat. Your day had passed. And well, stuff like when, that. when you know there was a parceling, because like I say, a weekend five o'clock, you get the wisp spot like there's a parcel landed, and you'd think like the, no one's moved out of the prison. There's been no visits all weekend for whatever reason, and all of a sudden there's a parcel. Yeah come from somewhere I've right? got to say at the bank no matter what wing you're on half five was it or six o'clock used to bang up at weekends yeah as you went round and checked yeah, doors yeah. as I was on a wing stunk away weed straight <laughs> away didn't it yeah. oh back up, back up. <laughs> but do you know what um, Forest Bank wasn't even a prison to me you know that someone like me going to a private prison it was just like a holiday camp honest to god but a lot of that is down sure. to the lack of staff and yeah, lack of experience, it's just a isn't it? Holiday camp, honestly. Isn't it? Yeah, honestly. It's not an holiday camp as people get upset about that more. Yeah, no, not not the regime. Like you're still locked up all the time. But like I'm just on about how easy how easy going it but is. You have drugs. Lots of drugs, like lots and lots of drugs. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you you just stoned all day. You're just smoking weed like it's normal. Like some staff don't even bat an eyelid that weed. So. I'd be smoking weed. You can't weed deal with dinner. it, can you? No, that's what I mean. If you if you know like there's thirty people smoking weed over dinner, you're just gonna have a joint and just think, fuck it, no one's gonna say anything to you, no staff are gonna well, they're not gonna pull you if they've not pulled everyone else. Phys you know physically, I mean? if we, thirty people are smoking weed and I do all the paperwork, you're not getting that's tested, it. are you? Thirty security, SRI. No, 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 it's not happening. Stuff. Yeah, it's not happening, is it? <laughs> it's not no. happening at all. Yeah. Right. Thanks for that. You're I want welcome, I want to ask you now about racism. Yeah. Um so I've, weird I've, one. I've, Well, you your your views on on racism are not what people expect, are they? No. Anyway. Different. So just tell me your views on racism what you've said to me before. Oh, you know what I, you, I know I, uh, like I've said about I understand that people's fears and the apprehensions of I und I get it in a way that if you're if you if you're Welsh, you've got your own Welsh language, what your little part of Wales have had culture. For, culture. You've had that way of life for a very long time. And you just like to do a certain feeding meal, pasty and stuff. I can understand them what not wanting that pasty to be diluted with bleeding <laughs> carrots or something. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah. like you know, they do a special meat and potato pie and all of a sudden they've got to add fucking summit in it to, to please somebody else. You know, I understand. So we're on, a, we're on about people now with different yeah. cultures, different yeah. parts of the country. Yeah. I and get it that these days like, would, would like to keep... Like, what what uh, about yourself in prison? Have you ever been subjected to racism? No, mate, no. Never. That sort of stuff doesn't happen in prison. Doesn't happen. Not staff, certainly not staff would say anything to me. It's never ever happened to me, mate, and that's the truth. Well, pe people have asked me about racism and said you never talk about it. I said, I've got nothing to talk about. Yeah. I believe one member of staff vocalised, um, I think they used the M word, 
I'm yeah. not sure. She yeah. was herself. She was the last, you know, she was very unpredictable, not a nice person. I didn't particularly like as a member of staff. Yeah. I think she called um, a lad the M word in a, a subtle way. When I mean that, yeah. intentionally so nobody heard her. Yeah. And he kicked off and we ended up restraining him. Yeah. But other than that, the only racist sort of issues, things I've had are with people from ethnic backgrounds accusing you of being racist. Yeah. Happens, yeah. Usually if they don't get their own way. Yeah, it can happen. Yeah. You can see that, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if, yeah. if you're on you someone's can, case... You can use it, can't you, if you want to. You can use it. But, uh, yeah, I've never used I've never used the, the race card at people. Me, if, I, if someone says no to me, I won't think it's for the colour of my skin. Maybe it is sometimes, but you know I've never I've never seen it like in Ancoats where I grew up, no racism in Ancoats. Like there was no racist people as it, as as such as they don't like somebody because they're coloured of skin. It just won't happen somewhere like that. There's a lot of Italians in Ancoats. Um, so, so no you way. never experienced racism in prison. That no. was a short conversation. Yeah, never. Do you think in in general like? Britain is a racist country? No. No, I don't think it's racist at all, mate, no. No. Do you respect other people's views? Like you said, some... There's some cultural things, isn't there? Yeah, there's like Cornish pasties and stuff like that, or the Cornish way of I, life. I do like stuff. Cornish pasties. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Cornish way of life and stuff like that. I get that. I kind of get that they what they'd like to remain. Like, yeah, we're Cornish, we'd like to keep our Cornish heritage, like people teach it in schools, like, you know, how the Cornish past the originated, just as an example, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I respect that, it's the same as like, they do it in Champagne, don't they? Champagne can only be produced in Champagne, in the te yep. village of Champagne, yep. and bloody rad rare. You know, uh, you know what, they should do that with drugs soon, have it as the drugs where it's from, shouldn't they? Eh? Colombians finest like hundred pound a gram. Well, it does get it does get Bolivians. Called, it does get called various stuff, but it's not necessarily always the case, is it? No, no. So you've gone onto drugs now, aren't you? Is yeah. that what you were going to talk about today? Anyway? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was just thinking about when you just said that. Then I think uh, uh, racism. I don't think it's it's not it's not vanished by no means. Of, one of my pet hates is when people try like try to. Use highlight that. something racist that's not racist yeah i get it yeah i understand that i i understand uh what black lives matters means okay so what it means is nobody lives matters until black lives matter now when i said that to Kira, she's like no i'm not having it and then she sat there with me and went Do you know what i understand what you mean now i understand it clicked in a red when I said it that way I said what they mean is no lives matter until black lives matter until until people are respected or not disrespected for the colour of the skin like a lot of countries are kept back aren't they like held back because of the colour of the skin you know what I mean it's happened for, for thousands for hundreds of years you know what I mean countries have been held back yeah, control. both ways, aren't they, as well? Both ways, yeah, both ways. It happens both ways, but, yeah. It's a bit deep, that, mate. Yeah, but that's how, that's where it comes from, though, doesn't it, you know? So, yeah. So, did you see uh, the second interview I did with John Sutton, the psychic screw? Yeah. When he talked about uh, prison officers, POA, the principal officer, yeah, the main man, being an area representative to the National yeah, it's Front. it's incredible. It's, wow, I couldn't believe it, you know. It's, that must have been... I know it was, doesn't seem long ago, but times must have changed since then. Unless, unless the only thing I can think of is it's that well hidden now and it's done that well that people can't see it. You know what I mean? We're blind to it, but... I wouldn't... I'm not going to sit here and say, like, fucking stuff about people like being racist and stuff people, do, do you do you fellow th people because i've never suffered it to myself i've never do you been think through it the prison service you know the institute and i never used to understand the institutional racism yeah. or what they meant but do you think 
that's that's what it means. That's where it come from. Things like that. That's where it. Where comes openly. From. Yeah, it's got to be on it. Yeah, like, I mean, you've got to think if you're in a staff room and he's twenty staff in that staff room and he's three or four of them are just coming out with extreme racist views, and everyone else is laughing nervously, laughing. That's everyone supporting it, mate. No one's jumping up and going, that's wrong. Probably now it did happen, but back then it wouldn't have happened. So then you could actually say, yeah, everyone's the same. Three or four laughing about some black guy who got battered in it, and everyone's laughing about it like it's... But the half of them, 75% of them are laughing nervously just because they don't want to be like what, part of the What patch, do you think you know to John? I mean? He's, he was obviously... He didn't give a shit him, did he? He no. was... No, he... Start integrity wanting. very yeah. much so yeah yeah you get to come across some people out in life some of you would just on it for their own reasons and they will not be swayed for any other anything else he won't have had an easy life in strange ways in will he with that no imagine it now though imagine if he was like openly like you know wearing nf badges now oh, and right, stuff I, like I couldn't that. even I imagine it yeah but I suppose, I know, I believe in down south a lot of London jails and stuff. I believe camera it's... van now, mate. Yeah, I know. Did you see the <laughs> camera van go past again? Yeah. I know. I know what it is. It's them, um, just the police, isn't it? They're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are, are we having it today? Yeah, we'll have Sorry that. for distracting one, one, one. you. Sorry for distracting You're you, You're all right, mate. Um, we I can just... have a chat any day of the week, I, can't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Listen, guys, I, I'd love to, you know... Three hours chat and record it. What we have yeah. to do, you know, I need to be at home a lot of time. So we yeah. shoot over here, we get a bit in. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of people coming to the channel soon as well, aren't we, Sam? Hopefully. We've got a lot of news coming soon, haven't we, Hopefully. Jim? Yeah, we'll leave that and let people know a bit sooner to the time. Brilliant, mate. Always a pleasure, Sam. Um, yeah, cheers. Catch I'll you later. I'll sit it. Did you say it? Yeah, I said it. I'll sit it. I'll sit it. <laughs>